Meta, which is essentially the Chinese version of Twitter, I guess we can call it. Why is that a standout, especially among some of the Chinese names? Well, I think uh, Sina is particularly interesting because of this arrangement that they just uh, announced with uh, Alibaba, which is uh, the largest e-commerce company in China that does uh, uh, several hundred billion dollars of uh, business and uh, has about 70% share of the e-commerce market in China. They're going to use Weibo as a way for their uh, millions of merchants to uh, keep in touch with their customers and uh, drive traffic to their uh, websites. And so I think that's uh, they took a position in uh, Weibo. They bought part of the company, and they have an option to buy uh, more of it. And I think uh, what we're seeing and what we saw in this last quarter was uh, a big increase in revenue, and I think that's just the beginning of this relationship. So very timely to buy Cena now. Okay. I was going to ask you about how the stock has performed, but if revenue is going to grow strongly going forward, obviously some of the gains don't make it too late to go into it. That's, that's what I think. All right. Let's stick with social media. I've got to ask you about Facebook. It is up better than 50% now since reporting earnings back in July. It's a stock you own. At these levels, is this a stock that is overvalued, undervalued, or fairly valued with all that is said and done and has been written about <laughs> Facebook over the last year? I actually think uh, right now is a very good time to be investing in Facebook. Uh, that, so I think it's undervalued. Um, and I think that, you know, we've, we've talked in the past about all the work they had to do to get mobile working and uh, get advertisers uh, convinced that uh, they had uh, good returns on their investments. Uh, so they've been, they've been doing all this coding work and all these partnerships uh, for the last year, and now they're starting to pay off. What we saw in the second quarter was they were starting to pay off, and they had a big surge in revenue. But I don't think that's the end of it. I think that's just the beginning. So I think we're in for a period of very high growth at Facebook for the next year or two years.